welcome to my channel. In case you're new here, my name is Lorena and I love to share my recipes with you. And if you've been here before, then hello again. A while back I posted on my Instagram stories that I was at my mom's house and that she has this really nice um, recipe book that she typed out from different from recipes that she got from different friends or classes, etc. And I asked you guys if you wanted me to make a video uh, making one of those recipes and you said yes. Um, actually 100% of you said yes. So here I am, I'm going to make malfati. So this recipe for my for malfati I actually wrote down for my mom myself. I found it somewhere online, I honestly cannot remember where and it was ages ago, maybe about 10 years ago. But it's delicious and it's a recipe that's really close to my heart, it makes me think of home and it's very special for me to be able to share it with you guys so I really hope you like it. As always, if you want to see the full recipe, then all you need to do is click on the link in the description box below and that will take you to the vlog where you'll find lots more recipes. Also remember that if you like this video, you can always put thumbs up to it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it already. I'm now going to make these spinach malfatti, so if you want to see how it's done, then keep on watching this video. So, for our malfatti mix, we first need to cook our spinach. This has already been thoroughly washed because if you notice spinach has a bit of earth on its leaves sometimes so you need to really really give it a nice wash and also we're going to remove the uh, stalk of the spinach because it tends to be really chewy and we want our marfati to be nice and soft and to do that you just fold so if the, li the leaf is like this you fold it over like so and then pull on the stalk and it will remove all this fiber all the way to the tip and then you have a nice and soft um, leave left over. These we're going to cook on olive oil. I'll teach you how to make it so that it's still nice and green. Then we need to dry it, chop it up and put it inside our mix. So to cook the spinach in here I have some olive oil that I'm heating to a medium to high temperature. And so I'm going to put the spinach in here all at once and I'm going to add a good pinch of salt because the salt uh, keeps the leaves green which is something uh, really important in malfati. And also the high temperature will, will help it uh, achieve that as well. We'll stop cooking the spinach when everything is nice and dark green, but don't overcook it or it will start going black. So once it's done, I'm going to remove them and put them in here with some uh, kitchen paper. My spinach has now cooled down enough so that I can touch it. And we want to squeeze out as much water as we can so that we have something like this, which is really dry because we don't want to add any moisture to our malfati mix. And so you're going to take little bunches of the spinach and just squeeze them really nice and tight until no water comes out of them. Then this we're going to chop up and put inside our mix. is now nicely chopped and in this bowl with the rest of the ingredients. I have ricotta cheese, also freshly grated parmesan cheese and use the finest grater for this if you can't use a microplane. Also a bit of flour and nutmeg and I'm going to add an egg into this and give it a nice mix and that's going to be the dough for our malfa. form bolt with it and roll it through some flour and then they're ready to cook. all of my malfati and they're in a nice floured plate just to make sure that they don't stick. We're going to cook them inside hot boiling water just like we do with gnocchi so as soon as they come afloat we need to start taking them out. Now 
Oh, and I almost forgot to tell you that I previously buttered this mold so that they don't stick to the base and then it's easy to serve. Now we're going to make the sauce. So in here I have uh, cream, also some parmesan cheese, nutmeg, uh, pepper and a pinch of salt as well. And so I'm just going to melt it all together and then I'm going to put it on top of my melfati which are already really nicely arranged in here. bits of butter so that it gets really nice and golden on the top and also some extra parmesan cheese. Now it's ready to go into a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius and it will take I think about 15 to 20 minutes to get completely golden. my spinach malfatti recipe I really hope you liked it if you did like it don't forget to put thumbs up to this video it makes me really really happy please if you make this recipe or any other recipe from the blog don't forget to send me a picture or tag me on them because I really love to see what you cook also if there's anything savory or sweet that you like me to teach you how to make you can leave a comment below I'm posting recipes every Thursday and Sunday so if you don't want to miss any of them then I recommend that you subscribe to my channel it's free and only one click away you can also follow me on Instagram, Pinterest and Facebook as Cravings Journal. Thank you so much for watching this video and see you next time.